Hello, my people, and how are you all doing? I know it's been a while, two weeks of not showing my face for parenting essentials. I sincerely apologize, you know, life happens, but thank God I'm here now. And I'll try to make up for the two weeks I have not been here for parenting essentials. And if you just see my face, my name is Oye, Oye Lion, your parenting coach. And if you are a new subscriber, Thank you for joining this wonderful family division guide do well go to our playlist and see all our amazing videos and if you have not subscribed why not consider clicking the subscribe button and do well by clicking the notification bell so that you get all our amazing videos when we drop one if you see my face for the first time we've been talking about common mistakes in parenting and i just want to talk more about common mistakes in parenting today but please note that common mistakes in parenting does not automatically mean poor or bad parenting. I've said a lot about selfish parent in many of my videos, so just go to the playlist and look out for what we've been talking about in parenting essentials. So please hold this point. Common mistakes does not mean a bad parenting or a poor parenting. We all do mistakes anyway, maybe in our career, in our job. We make mistakes, we correct it, we get better. So also in parenting, we don't know everything, but we get to know our mistakes and we correct them. Then we move forward, going up, 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 and we just go. So what am I talking about today in Common Mistake in Parenting? Let's get started. In my past videos, I spoke about taking a curious child to be a rude child. So also, vice versa, a child can be very rude and a parent can assume that that is being smart or being intelligent. For a child who is abusive, insulting, you know, not with good manners, don't take it for being smart or being intelligent. So I know we've said we should allow our kids to ask questions if they are in doubt. As parents, don't forget to teach your children how to mind their business, you know. I tell my kids most of the time, if it's really not their business, they don't have to bother. We have to let them know boundaries so that they don't end up insulting people, being rude. And we are thinking, you know, just being smart, you just being intelligent. So it's a thin line between misunderstanding a curious child to a rude child and misunderstand a child who is really very rude to be a smart child. So we have to be awake and alert as parents to understand the thin line between the two and to separate them, give them boundaries, let them know how to mind their own business. Also today I'm going to be talking about something that I've come to see over and again, which is common mistake in parenting in parent giving their parental responsibility to their oldest child. Mm, relax, don't get me wrong. I am not telling you not to allow your oldest child to help you. At the same time, don't forget your oldest child. It is not the parent or a mother, the father to the younger ones. Most of the time, you enjoy this pleasure. We enjoy the ease of your child who is grown, helping you out. Then we forget that this particular child, this grown-up child is still your child, regardless of the age. So we don't let them enjoy their childhood. We keep all the responsibilities on them, on the particular child. Please let's note it. Let the child enjoy the childhood. It's good for you to get help, but don't see it as the child's responsibility. Another common mistake in parenting is for you as parent not to take a positive advantage of your child's unpleasant habits. All we do is to see why is she doing that? There is always a positive advantage in every unpleasant habit. All you need to do is to see and check on how you can turn the table around. It doesn't look pleasant. How can I change this negativity to be positive? Your job is to take a positive advantage of their strength instead of you focusing on their weak point. Enough of you complaining about what your child cannot do. My child can't do this. He couldn't do that. She couldn't do that. Why not focus on the things your child can do? There are hundreds of things that your child can do, but you have not discovered the unique child. I've spoken a lot about finding the unique child, which is key, and not comparing one child to another. 
These are common mistakes in parenting. Even for a child with ADHD, all you need to do is to look for the activities that can get this child engaged. Just get your child engaged. If it requires you to take the child for the trampoline jumping or gymnastics, what? just find the child's interest. Take the positive advantage. I know it's tiring. I know the child has been running around the house, but why not just discover what are the activities that you can use on the child's energy. The child is very energetic. Just search, make research, study the unique child. Focus on the strength, not the weak points. Take the advantage of your child's strength rather than focusing on your child's weakness. And I believe you've been able to get one or two points on today's episode of Parenting Essentials. Just as I said earlier, my name is Oye, Oye Lyo. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, don't forget to do so before you go. And I'll see you in another wonderful episode of Parenting Essentials. Bye for now.